the fish are sitting sitting out here in about 30 foot of water so i'm basically just uh i'm basically just fishing straight up on the boat i'll flip it up in front of me a little bit and just let it come come right down through here right in front of the boat Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Good one too. Oh man, look here, what a crappie. Oh lord, giant crappie y'all. I don't think I've ever caught a crappie this big. Oh my goodness. Look at here, what one caught. Look here, what a crappie. Folks, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Look what a crappie. And I really ain't even crappie fishing. Good lordy mercy. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to weigh this and measure him first though. Okay, I'm gonna lay him right here. We're gonna measure. See what we'll see how big he is. Folks, can y'all see that? That crappie right there is sick. Look at that. 16 inches long. That is a big crappie. Now I gotta get my scale. I'm gonna have to weigh this. Goodness, what a crappie. I thought it was going to be a big spotted bass or something. Yeah. Look what a crappie. Tell you what. Let's see here. 2.3. Wow. It's a big old female crappie right there. Yep. There she goes. Yep, there she went. Ooh wee, what a crop. Hey, that's what we caught on right there. Gizzard chat. I'm gonna show you right there. When it gets cold, watch the temperature gets cold like this. You can see right there, it's 48.35 degrees. A lot of times these fish, they want smaller baits. You got downsize your manners. Got a fish on. Hmm. There he is. There. Got him my time. Sure did. Let's see what this is. Oh man, nice spotted bass. Seen wet boy. Water so clear. Look down in there. Oh lord, he's good. And y'all, we sitting out here in thirty foot of water. See right there, 30 foot. Oh, what a beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. Beautiful spotted bass right here. Ah, that's a good one. Look how fat. I mean a little butterball. I mean, we fishing out here deep, right next to the river channel. I'm going to like over here. And, uh, that's a nice fish there. Beautiful fish. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna turn her loose here. There we go. There we go, y'all. Well, folks, welcome to Rocky Drake Outdoors. I'm Rocky Drake. Glad y'all joined me today. Hey, starting out pretty good here. Uh, it's been real cold. I mean, this morning when I got here, I mean, it was, it was free. It's still warmed up a little bit now, but uh, I went out and it took me a while to catch some bait. And uh, I was just gonna tinker around and fish in places that I don't fish a lot. And this is one of them right here. And uh, got lucky up there and caught that big <laughs> giant crappie. <laughs> that was uh, just luck, I'm telling you. But anyway, and now I got on this real nice spotted bass here. So, and all I'm doing is drifting down through here and just bumping the bottom basically is all I'm doing. And I'm gonna do it again, see what we can catch. Tell you what, I'll be honest with y'all folks. When I first got over here today, earlier today, it was slow go. I really, be honest with you, I didn't think we were gonna get no video today, but now I think we may done have some. Fishing with these little, these little gizzard shads right here caught. Probably about three or four inches long. And I've got this little number two hook on here. A little small hook, a little mustad hook, if y'all can see it. And my normal, just a little, right now I've just got two little split shots on there. A nice spotted bass. And that was one more big crop. Mm-hmm. Might do a multi-species trip today. 
just bumping the bottom. I can feel it down there. Just trying to bump it right up in front on one. I'm fishing with this duck, my little ducket rod here, my little Silverado. And uh, the reason I like this rod right here, it's really, really sensitive. This one here is a, uh, let's see. You see, this one here is a, uh, it's a six foot nine and it's a uh, medium heavy. And uh, it's really lightweight. That's what I like about it. lightweight. And the tip on it right here, tip, real sensitive. I can feel every little, any time that minute down there bumps against something, I can feel it. See right there, I can feel that right there. That's important. A lot of times when you live bait fishing because a lot of times in big fish, you won't even, they'll just come up and just, you know, suck that minnow in their mouth and you won't even hardly feel the bite. So you need something that's real sensitive that you can keep up with what's going on down there. Well, sometimes when you drill fish like this, at least for me now, I, uh, well, it's a noisy bridge. I'll kind of start out, you know, out, and I'll kind of work my way in just a little bit and just make three or four different drifts down through three or four different depths until I kind of get it figured out. And sometimes I don't ever get it figured out. Most time I don't. But you see, like right now, we're sitting in 30 foot. You can see right there, 30 foot. And I can see a bunch of bait swimming around down there. Oh, man, what was that? Whew, Lord. Well, men are gone. Put nothing. There's a bunch of fish right, right there. And there he is, too. I think I got one. I do have one. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea what this is. A, whatever it is, it's a big one. If it's a bass, I'm telling you right now, it's a flat-footed big bass. I don't think it is, though. I don't know what it is. Well, we see it was multi-species fishing today, but uh, God, what is this thing? I think, oh Lord, what is it? Look at that pole band. Mm. This is a big old fish. Oh my gosh, big catfish. Great big catfish. Multi-species, yeah. <laughs> There's a big catfish. I'm gonna have to get that scoop net for him, or I ain't gonna be able to get him in the boat. I ain't gonna be able to get him in the boat. This is fun. I'm getting fun. I, I can't get my can't get my scoop net. Oh lord. I should have done had this ready. I ain't. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna get him up here. Look at that. What a big blue cat. Big blue boy, good lord. Well, I mean, it ain't big for blue cat, but it's, it's big enough for me. I know I catch him a lot bigger than this. Whew, lord, look at that. Hey, this is fun. Man, I thought, I didn't know if I, I thought I had a bite, but it didn't feel right. And I guess, well, I can see why now. He talking to me. I don't get your whisker in there. Let me get your whisker out of the way. Okay, got that little hook out. Tell you what, you look at that little fat cat. He be on the Look at him flopping the bend in that tail up at me. It's a big one. Yeah, it is. That's nice. And he probably about, I don't know, he might go 10 pounds. Okay, go back down in there. There he goes. Boy, he was slicky. Whew. Slicky and slimy. Okay. Well, I'm ready to put many other men on. I'm having fun there. Yeah, look at the slime on the line. I think they ain't slime. Okay, let's get on out here in the river channel. Okay. So watch so you'll see it start dropping. 19. See see you start seeing the fish right here. See right there? 21. 22. Okay. Now let's let's go right here. 
behind. Okay, now we're cooking. Just got to get on this one little old area. I mean, they're biting. There's just no doubt about that. They're biting. But they're on the edge of the river channel right here. The river channel. Got this flat coming out and then it drops off. So you just like to see that right there. That's what I'm talking about. You just gotta get you just gotta get this boat just right. You ain't gonna catch nothing. I done got that figured out. You gotta set that boat, tail end of the boat in 15 foot of water and front end of the boat being 25 foot. This is a uh, 18 foot long boat, so fish here's a fish right here there he is too there's a good one. Oh, this is a real nice fish i'm just getting ready to leave too and i don't know about it now it might not that's bass I guarantee you this is a bass. oh that's a nice nice looks like a big spotty bass sure does i mean they're out here in this deep water <laughs> look at that look, look, look oh that's a nice one that's a really nice fish. That's a butterball right there. That's a pretty fish. Tell you what, we ain't doing too bad. I mean, look here. <laughs> a nice body bass. And we got that big old crappie. Make about the second one of these. We done caught about that size. I'm telling you, man, it's just, there's one little stinking place out here one little place there all that if you don't get right on top of them you ain't gonna catch one it's as simple as that there he is see there got another one right on that drops where they're at another good one here there's another good one here oh he's showing up pull it I mean, we just out here in the middle of the river. No, middle of nowhere. Oh, goodness. This might be the biggest one of the day. Oh, no doubt. Biggest one. Biggest one of the day here, y'all. Oh, my gosh. What a big fish. This is a good in here. Yeah. I mean, this is one we've been looking for right here. Sure is. Yeah. Sure is. The one we've been looking for right here. Okay, there he is right there. Okay, I'm gonna get there and put the thumb on it. Mm. Yep. Mm. Look at there, y'all. Now that is that's a good largemouth right there. Good largemouth. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Whew. I tell you, they in here. It's just slow bite. You got to be patient. A lot of patience. Okay, I'm gonna turn this loose. Go back down there now, Miss Mom. Been large, man. There you go. Tell you what, folks, we done made a day of it. Started out real slow, but ended up pretty good. We caught some good fish. Multi species of fish. Let's see what we caught up. We caught a big old double slab crappie. I mean, a big one. That's the biggest crappie I think I've caught in a long time. And uh, spotted bass, largemouth bass. I don't leave nothing out now. Drum. Really nice largemouth. And a white bass, man, is what I call them. Did I say catfish? I think I did. Anyway, folks, had a good day. These minnows right here, I'm telling you, when you when you fish with them, you don't never know what you're gonna come up with. <laughs> My biggest thing today, I just had to be patient. And uh, I mean, we didn't catch no whole lot of fish, but we caught some good ones, folks. Anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I sure would appreciate that too. And uh, hit the thumbs up button, button, and uh, we'll see you next time out on the water.